the final frontier. Aye, Captain, you can choose your space with a Serda. And they wonder why cutting the cord is becoming so popular. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 worst commercials of all time. Wearing your baby seems to be in fashion. I mean, in theory, it's a great idea. For this list, we're looking at those commercials that received ridicule and derision after airing due to their low quality, lack of substance, annoying content, or anything in between that generally irritated viewers. No one's a special price! $2.99! Number 10, The Trivago Guy. Trivago. Have you ever looked for a hotel online? Did you notice that there's so many prices out there for the exact same room? While some may think that he's attractive, we can't help but think that he's a little dirty and creepy. We're of course referring to Tim Williams, the man in the Trivago commercials who stares viewers down with what looks like malicious intent and talks like he wants to murder us in our sleep. He controls the screen like Tony Stark in hopes of looking futuristic or cool, but it falls flat due to his kind of creepy performance. You can adjust the price so that it fits in with your budget. Select a number of stars. Sorry, Trivago, we actually don't know what you do because we're too creeped out to watch this commercial any longer. Plus, why isn't he clean shaven or wearing a belt? It seriously looks like they just pulled him off the street. Well, at least they got the message and cleaned him up a bit. Check on Trivago to see whether you can book it somewhere else for an even better price. Number 9, The Baby. PlayStation 3. Not only does this commercial make absolutely no sense, but it's even creepier than the one with the Travago guy, by a mile. <laughs> the ad is for the PlayStation 3, and features a baby doll in a room with the console, and we slowly watch it come alive, laugh, and cry. We suppose it's crying because of the beauty of the PS3, but if it's not, then we really have no idea. <laughs> This ad was part of a $150 million campaign, and we think that the person in charge of that money should be fired immediately. Or at least they should reimburse us for our therapy bills. Number 8. Depression Hurts. Cymbalta. When you're depressed, where do you want to go? Nowhere. There are only two countries in the entire world that allow direct-to-consumer ads promoting drugs the United States, and New Zealand. They are always awful, but none more so than this Cymbalta ad. Cymbalta can help. Cymbalta is a prescription medication that treats many symptoms of depression. Tell your doctor right away if your depression worsens, you have unusual changes in behavior or thoughts of suicide. Cymbalta is a brand name for duloxetine, a drug used to combat depression. Not only is this commercial itself depressing, but the darker material is followed by a full minute of the narrator listing its possible side effects. Taking it with NSAID pain relievers, aspirin, or blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Severe liver problems, some fatal, were reported. Signs include abdominal pain and yellowing of the skin or eyes. Which include fun things like tremors, seizures, and hallucinations. When people think of awful prescription ads, a commercial like this is immediately what springs to mind. Ask your doctor. Dizziness or fainting may occur upon standing. Side effects include nausea, dry mouth, and constipation. Ask your doctor about Cymbalta. Depression hurts. Cymbalta can help. Number seven, I'm the cash man, Oliver Jewelry. Hello, I'm Russell Oliver, and I buy your used jewelry. Oliver Jewelry is a jewelry company with multiple stores in Ontario, Canada. And any Canadian in the greater Toronto area that has ever watched cheap daytime TV knows the signature call of Oliver. Oh. His commercials are well known for their horrible, cheap quality and for Oliver himself, who is clearly reading from a script with the least amount of enthusiasm possible. I'll turn Cartier, Rolex, and Patek watches into cash. Oh yeah. I'll turn any jewelry into lots of cash. Oh yeah. Couple this with the awful auto-tuned song, and you have one of the worst commercials ever. Meanwhile, his signature catchphrase is just icing on the awful, bitter cake. Cashman, Oliver, I pay more cash for your used jewelry than anyone. Oh, yeah. Everybody say it with us now. Oh, yeah. Number six, make safe happen nationwide. Nationwide is on your side. <laughs> nationwide is on your side. Not when they're making depressing commercials like this, they're not. This commercial aired during the 2015 Super Bowl. And as everyone knows, those commercials are supposed to be fun and adventurous for the most part. I'll never learn to fly or travel the world with my best friend. But then we are treated to this, an ad featuring a young male narrator who turns out to be dead. And it caused significant backlash among viewers. Hey, wait! Last wait! Wait! Nationwide, the insurance company behind it even responded, saying that it was meant to start a conversation.
At Nationwide, we believe in protecting what matters most, your kids. If that conversation was about how Nationwide scared everyone, then yes, it totally succeeded. Together, we can make safe happen. Number five, pandas, sales genie. Ting Ting, we have no customers, no sales. We're going out of business. Here we have another Super Bowl commercial, and while it isn't depressing, that doesn't mean it's good. Ling Ling, I am not going back to the zoo. Then we need a sales miracle. Sales genie, which is an online business and consumer lead generation tool, decided that airing a commercial starring pandas with stereotypical Asian accents would be a good idea. But they were sadly mistaken. Wow, look at all these sales leads. Thank you, Sales Genie. The commercial was quickly branded as offensive and racist. So the CEO of Info USA, Sales Genie's parent company, pulled the ad from the air, stating that they never thought anyone would take offense because the pandas themselves are Chinese. It makes so much sense now. You wanna go see the grizzly bears at the zoo? For 100 free sales leads, go to salesgenie.com. Number four, Sponge Monkeys, Quiznos. We love these hubs. We have no idea what Quiznos was thinking when they decided to take on the Sponge Monkeys. These annoying singing primates first appeared on the web singing a song called We Like the Moon in a video that went viral. We like the moon. Quiznos apparently thought that the video was absolutely hilarious as the Sponge Monkeys appeared in their ad singing, We Love the Subs. It was quickly removed after countless complaints about its irritating nature and how unfunny it was. They are so good, we need them robot eating roast houses for Barrick! We're thinking they also may have gotten some complaints about how people wanted to gouge their eyes out every time the ad came on TV. The Quiznos up! Quiznos. <laughs> Toast. Number three, there you are. Chanel number five. It's not a journey. Every journey ends, but we go on. We're really not sure how Chanel managed to mess up a commercial starring Brad Pitt. Inevitable. Pitt may be the first man to promote the perfume on television, but he also did a terrible job of it. Dreams take over. But wherever I go, there you are. The commercial is needlessly dramatic as the whole thing is in black and white, and Pitt talks to the camera like he's trying out for his new Oscar baiting role. My luck, my fate, my fortune. It's way too over the top for a simple perfume ad, and the dialogue tries far too hard to be poetic. So naturally, it was parodied and mocked for years. And then dreams wake up and smile at reality. I'm sorry, is there really no script? Because I've, I've been talking to myself for like two hours straight and I'm starting to sound insane. Number two, apply directly to the forehead, head on. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. One of the most notorious commercials ever, Head On's cheap and annoying ad got the attention of millions and started an internet phenomenon. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. The commercial simply consists of lines, Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. With the model doing just that, not only is this painfully annoying, but no other information is given about the product, leaving viewers both irritated and confused. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Available at Walgreens. The ad soon became famous online, was referenced in Disaster Movie, which was also a disaster in and of itself. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. I, I just, I just did. I said head on, bitch. And the company responsible even acknowledged how bad it was in subsequent commercials. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on apply. Head on your commercial is so annoying, but you've got a great product. Before we annoy you with our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I want to tell you something. It's almost unbelievable. Get Mattel's new baby secret. So you can keep the romantic comedies and lady drinks. We're good. Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women. Why are they freaking out? They're not freaking out, they're giving out. Giving out? Because of the great deals they got at Kmart. Right. You don't need to be a rock star to afford a new designer sofa. Six months ago, Selena tested her relationship with Justin using the love calculator. She just sent the word honey, her name's Selena, and her partner's name Justin to 75555. Number one, baby soft loves. There's one person nobody can resist, and that's a baby. For this commercial, we're going all the way back to the mid-70s, when ads seemed to be wildly inappropriate all the time. In this ad, the company Loves is advertising their fragrance called Baby Soft, 
which is meant to give adults the scent of a baby because innocence is sexy. So innocent it may well be the sexiest fragrance around. If that wasn't odd enough, we're also treated to a full-grown woman seductively licking a lollipop. This commercial is wrong on so many levels, but mostly in how it implies that men find smelling babies sexy. Let's just never speak of this again. For your baby at Christmas. Do you agree with our list? Ask your doctor. What do you think is the worst commercial ever conceived? <laughs> For more hilarious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. A logical choice. Live long and sleep.